chapter 5. Let me read from the verse number 1. Now, now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. So the Bible says Reuben was the firstborn of Israel. He was indeed the firstborn. So the Bible says Reuben was indeed the firstborn. It means when Israel started giving birth to his children, it was Reuben that he gave birth to first. So the Bible said Reuben was indeed the firstborn. But because he defiled his father's bed. Now, Reuben was the firstborn of his father. But Reuben slept with, the, with one of the women of his father. Reuben slept with one of the, the concubines of, in, in our days, the girlfriends of his father. So because Reuben did that, the Bible said, Reuben was indeed the firstborn, but because he defiled the bed, the marriage bed of his father, because he slept with, with his father's concubine, his firstborn was given to the sons of Joseph, which means Ephraim and Manasseh. Joseph has two sons. So the firstborn's right that Reuben have to have was given to the last but one child. Was given to the last but one son. Joseph was the last but one of Israel's son. So after Joseph, there is Benjamin. So the firstborn was given to Joseph. It was it, Reuben was there as the oldest son. Reuben had had a, an age than all the sons. He was a grown up than all the sons. But spiritually, the right of a firstborn was taken from him. Now, you have to get something. Reuben did not sleep with and the woman that his father paid their bride price, he slept with the concubines of his, of his father. But, so, and, and, and nowadays there are some of us who go around snatching people's girlfriends and we say it is nothing because one worry no. But we don't know what we are doing because there are things that when you do, it will affect your life. And you may not know, there are some of us going around cheating everybody, cheating ladies, and we think that is all. But we don't know that it will go a long way and, and affect us one day. We never know. So, the Bible said, because he slept with his father's concubine, the birthright, I'm not going to, the birthright was given to Joseph's son, the son of Israel. Now listen to this. The birthright was given to Joseph's son, or Joseph. Now, so that the general the genealogy is not listed according to the birthright. Now, when Reuben took his father's concubine and slept with them, and the birthright was given to Joseph and his sons. Now, when they are listing the generation, the genealogies, the firstborn have to come first. But because of that, that firstborn right was not given to Reuben, even though he was the firstborn, the firstborn was given to Joseph. So, the, 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 the genealogy was not listed rightly. It was not listed according to Reuben. By the mistake of Reuben, his generation was deprived of the firstborn. By the mistake of Reuben, his generation was deprived of the kingship. In the archives of God, and in the archives, and in the mind of Israel, it is the tribe of Reuben that has the right to produce king. In the archives of God, it, 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 it should have been the tribe of Reuben that have to produce a leader of the, of, of, of the Israelites. But because of what Reuben did, that leadership right was taken from Reuben. And when that leadership right was taken from Reuben, that leadership right was laid upon the life of, 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 of Joseph. That is what has happened. So Reuben de deprived his grand 
children and deprive his children and deprive those that will come after him i came tonight to tell somebody and i came to ask somebody and i came to pray for somebody and i came to talk to somebody and i came to tell you don't deprive your children of their birthright don't deprive your children of what they need to enjoy don't deprive your generation of what they need to have and don't deprive your generation of where they need to go and of where they need to be if people are preparing their children and they are preparing their generation for higher height don't sit down and and, and not sit down like that and not prepare your generation think and prepare your generation don't deprive your generation in the name of jesus don't deprive them also prepare and and, and make your children and put them at a standard let me tell you something there is a proverb in the akan language that says say you will do a if they give birth to you and they put you on a mountain it will not be long you will grow tall but when they give birth to you and they put you on a valley it will be long before you grow tall so today if you give birth to your children and you give birth to the people around you and and, and the people destined attack to your life then make sure you place them on a mountain you are not for yourself alone and you are not to you did not come to this world alone to go alone you came to make an impact you came to do something for god we should stop that selfish christianity i came to let your spirit go high i came to tell you something that god did not call you for yourself alone god called you for somebody robin was carrying generations in him and he was using that generations to fool over but he did not know that there were generations in him there are generations in if there are generations that will come after battle royals there are generations that will come after the leaders of ghana there are generations that will come after the leaders of africa and posterity will judge posterity will judge you even if you did not die posterity will judge you posterity will ask what did you do for our generations and what did you do for us i am not preaching disrespect but you can see that nowadays most of our young guys are in insulting the politicians and they are attacking the politicians because posterity is judging posterity is telling us what they are doing and our their children if you don't take care your children will rise up against you and your children will speak against you so you are not born for yourself alone whatever you do in life think about your generation whatever you do in life be a generational thinker be a generational changer make sure you change your generation make sure you affect your generation there are some of us that will always say this thing should have been this way and by this time battle royale should have been this way and by this time the church should have gone forward and by this time the house should have been this way and by this time this is what the men of god should have done and by this time this is what the workers should have done and this is by this time this is what the battle royale, battle royale should have done what have you done to affect the life of battle royals are you just saying it what have you had and uh, have you had what have you what are you using as a human being to push the ministry before you are saying that we are in a generation that we always complain we want to complain and we want to say things we want to complain about things and we want to complain about what is not going on well and we want to complain about things that are not possible and we want to complain about things that are not good but we don't want to do anything to help we don't want to put ourselves in it we don't want to do anything we don't want to, to, to do anything uh, that will come of our own will and our own power to help that is what robin was doing uh, when robin was going to bed with his father's concubine he did not know that it will affect his generation but it went a long way to affect his generation look let me tell you something let me talk about, let me let me let me say this for some days now eh, this thing has been worrying me and last i was sitting there i was thinking about it then god dropped then a, a, a voice dropped into my spirit i came to tell you something you are sitting here tonight because of a generation 
you are sitting here tonight, if it is not because of a generation, it's not because God called you for a purpose, you will not be here. Because God called you for a purpose, so I want you to prepare your heart to receive tonight from God. Because God called you for a purpose. God did not call you for yourself alone. God called you for a purpose. So, nowadays, it is like, it is like the chameleon character is, 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 is working among our ladies. They are more interested in changing color than changing character. Our ladies of nowadays are more interested in changing color than changing character. So a chameleon spirit is working. Chameleon will change color, but it will still work slow. Character is not color. So don't be interested in changing color. Be interested in preparing your character. I don't know the reason why. And I, 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 look, so Obebe Kachiro said, I have to talk about it. Do you know I have to talk about it? From years to come, those things that you are applying has a side effect. And when the effect begin to work there are some particular group of people that are going to suffer or there are some particular group of people that are going to go through the suffering with one of the group of people are nurses and doctors and one of the group of people are pastors when you begin to have the skin around the you begin to run pastors for so I have to say it If you are dark, you are dark. Love yourself. It is an inferiority complex. It doesn't matter how educated you are. It's an inferiority complex. It, 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 it's like you, 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 you think if you are you think if you are fighting goes on well. Don't, deceive, don't let the men deceive you to be changing color. Openi pakokoa onko UK obenyebi don't, don't don't be deceive yourself it is a spirit oh it's a spirit and you are using all your hard earned money some of you are working they are giving you in Ghana 2000, 2005 and you are using all that hard earned money on chemicals to apply okay tani kakra kakra me toni me toni me toni ya be sha gon it is demonic let me tell you, when we come to just pray in fire, 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 and we don't tell you the truth, that will consume yourself. You will fire, fire, fire. Let me tell you, do you know the reason why it's more in Africa and accident is more in, it, it takes more life in, in Africa? Let me tell you, the devil, eh? always want a breeding grounds to breed the devil will put the idea into your mind the devil will try to present you at the face of the temptation but the devil cannot hold your hand into temptation so the devil will always try to give the breeding grounds will find a breeding grounds to to, to operate so if our roads in Africa are not good, accident will still happen. Now, 
the breeding grounds of one of the ways of skin cancer and body cancer and all those things is bleaching. From years to pass, it is the coastal area that bleach. And we always say in Puanu for the, the like today educated people. Let me leave that. Let me, let me move to the verse 2. Yet Judah prevailed over his brothers, and from him came a ruler. Although the first, the, the, the birthright was Joseph. Now, get this. Now, when the birthright was, gift, was given to Joseph, in the spiritual realm, Joseph had to produce the, the, the ruler. Now, now, as the, birth, the firstborn right was given to Joseph, Joseph was joking with the birth, with the birth right. Now, when Joseph died, Ephraim and Manasseh, now they divided into two. So Ephraim and Manasseh began to joke with the birth right. I came to tell you something. There is something that we say in this house, and people did not understand. Biazo Catalabando is possible. Overtaking is possible. In the spiritual realm, the firstborn right, and in the physical realm, the firstborn right was given to Joseph. But as Joseph was joking with his firstborn right, this Judah took over the firstborn right. So even though this Reuben was the firstborn, Reuben lost the firstborn to Joseph. Now Joseph was parading himself and saying, I am the first born yes i am the man of god yes i am the child of god yes i am attending church in Battle royals yes pastor prince is my pastor yes i am a child of god don't be parading yourself with that one alone and don't be walking with that one alone don't walk in that mind alone you have to do something for yourself so lord as they were all parading themselves that i am the first born i am the first i am the first born judah was still prepared bearing on himself. Judah was guarding his men. Judah was working. Judah was trying to be strong and Judah became more powerful. It does not matter me being the assistant pastor. It does not matter all the, be all the pastors being in the house. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, if you can pray more and if you can fast more and if you can ask for the grace of God more, God can use you so powerfully than some of us in this house. Uh, it doesn't mean you are the first uh, and in doesn't mean you are the firstborn and it doesn't mean you have given birth to the firstborn now riches is not a firstborn prosperity is not a firstborn it does not mean physical firstborn prosperity and riches uh, to be able to be great man on the earth and to be able to be an influential man on this earth uh, it doesn't mean it is you that your mother gave birth to you first uh, if you can prepare yourself and you can take your mind off of the things that are not necessary and place your mind of the things that are necessary and begin to prepare for your generations and begin to work for your generations and begin to do things for your generations let me tell you something that firstborn right will fall upon your life and that firstborn right will work for you and that firstborn right will work for your generation judah was a younger man he was the youngest among them he was a younger boy he was about the four born but judah prevailed judah became stronger it was god himself that took the firstborn right and gave it to joseph but by the strength of judah and by the power of judah and by the spirit of that judah snatched the firstborn right himself he snatched it by the spirit of god it's not it by the power of God. I am I've listened to a woman. I have heard the story of a woman once called Catherine Cobb. The, 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 there was a story that says that spirit that operates on the woman she was a woman and when she walked among the crowd all the people who fell this is the woman where that when she go to she she entered the airport the people that are checking the passport they cannot check her when you check her you'll be on the ground when they are going to open when she is going to board an airline she has to go through the emergency door because when you pass through the passenger door all the people at the passenger door who fell down they will all go down they will all fall let me tell you it was this same country coma that got engaged to 
for this husband and marry somebody's husband and why she married somebody's husband she was with the person's husband and one day she she came of herself and she said i have to choose my husband or i have to choose god so she divorced the husband and he said i am choosing god because i am married to somebody's husband there are two things placed before you there is good maybe there is something that you enjoy but it's the same thing that is destroying you if you can choose god and leave that thing god will make you great so i am talking about this woman and then and then the story came and they said the spirit that fell on katrikoma the voice that katrikoma had to do that greater things there were two men that had the same voice the first man had the same voice he did not do anything about it he was sitting down that our voice left and went to the second man it was men in the ministry it was like it was a men dominated area from the olden days it was a men dominated so when the man had the voice he did not do anything about it and the voice moved to another man when the another man had the voice he did not do anything about it then the voice moved to a woman a woman called Catherine Coleman and when the voice move to the woman the woman chose god he chose the right way it does not matter how far you have gone with life it does not matter how far life has distorted your way it does not matter how far you have gone with the filthy things you can still return to god you can still amend your ways you can still change your ways so katrikoma choose to go with god and leave the man the ones in the bible among the judges of Israel there was a lady that came out called Rebecca when she came out uh, when this lady came out or uh, in those days there was war there was fight but the Bible said when the women the woman came out it was the same woman that led the Israelis to war and now the woman led the Israelis to war it was a woman that destroyed the captain of the enemies I came to the town the women of this house you can do something for yourself uh. you can do something for yourself you can actually go high if the what the men are doing uh can also take that role and do it uh, if them if all men are pastors in this house uh, a woman can also be you can also do something i came to encourage somebody joseph born right when joseph had the first born right joseph thought i had the first born right yes it is me that i had the first born right yes it is me that i had the first born right those that are going allow them to go those that are running ahead of you allow them to run they are always saying yeah wait there wait there yeah in this baby 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 oh wait there wait there ah ah no no wait there wait there wait there wait there wait there Wait there, wait there, wait there, yeah, why? Yeah, now you was sick, no. Yeah, now you this, no. By the time they are doing that, you are preparing yourself both physically and spiritually. And there is a time coming. Uh, by the time they are doing that, you are overhauling your engine uh, and you are making some adjustment in your life. By the time they are doing that, uh, God has hidden you, and God is preparing your life uh, and making you greater. Uh, by the time they are doing that uh, you are you are you are working on your brakes and you are working on your on your asnators and you are working on your tassels uh, you are working on your suspension system you are working on your braking system and you are working on your cooling system by the time they are doing that uh, and they are talking about you you are working about your life by the time they are frolicking all around uh, and they are using their their money for unnecessary uh, working on your life and by the time they know you are overtaking them and by the time they know you have overtook them and they will not understand it may be God that gave them that grace it may be God that gave them the power but I came to tell somebody the spirit that God has given to you overtaking is allowed yes snatching is allowed if somebody is not doing it you can take it by force and do it if God has given it to 
to the person and the person did not like it you can take it and do it you can actually snatch it from the spiritual realm that is why there are some things that belong to some people but you can actually snatch it yes he has gotten that man and he said the man is not good you can take it by prayer he see i has gotten that woman and he said that woman is not good you can take it by prayer he has been in touch or she has been in touch with our pastor and he said that pastor is not good yes you can take it by prayer you can actually snatch it you can actually be as it it is allowed and it is working there are some people the grace you are operating now it is not meant for you some years ago but by the tenacity and by your heart you have taken it and it is working for you you can actually do it uh, i came to encourage somebody there is no way you can go down the rejected stone the bible said the rejected stone the stone that has been rejected the stone that has been deserted the stone that they say they did not want the stone that they say it is bad the stone that the builder said you will not add it to the stones the stone that the builder said this stone is not proper one day will become the chief corner stone they will need be in need of that stone it will be need of that stone last i was sitting down and i was thinking then the spirit of god ministered something to me he said emmanuel don't worry you are just like a sword yes people can do anything against you but they cannot take you out of it when they need you they will come for you yes they can do anything they can say anything against you but they can never take you out of it and that is the prayer that i always pray you can do everything to me but you cannot take me out of it when the time comes and my importance come you will need me you will know that this is the person that i need to go to so you cannot take me out of it somebody clap your hands and shout power now judah about the fourth to the fifth one The birthright was not given to him. But the Bible says he grew to become stronger. If you can grow to become strong, not just, not physically, if you can grow to become spiritually strong, if you can grow to become strong, what your grandfather has not been able to do and he lost the battle, what your father has not been able to do he tried it and he lost the battle if you can grow to become stronger that grace will fall upon you that spirit will fall upon you that power will fall upon you We are in the dispensation when it is not we don't look at Secha. I was I was watching an interview of of a, a, a politician. I was watching an interview of a politician. Then they started they asked they were interviewing him they asked him a question then they said the the, the 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 journalist that was interviewing the man said it's like you attack your own party and you attack the other party too and nothing happens to you what is the secret then the politician says something he said it is not by stature it is not by power have money He said, if you have money, you can attack them. They, will not, they cannot do anything to you because they need you. That day, I learned a sense from what that man said. 
He said, when you are, you are, you are financially strong, <laughs> in the same way in the church, let me tell you something, they can do anything, they can attack you, they can say your dressing is not good, they can say your attire is not good, they can say your hair is not good, they can say how you walk is bad and how you do everything is bad. Don't think about it. What you need to think about is to pray for God and ask God, have anointing. When you have anointing, your time may not be good. They will run to you. Possess grace. Possess power. Your mouth can be smelling. You may not have a good teeth. You may not speak good English, but possess grace and possess anointing. Somebody will come to you. The kind of handkerchief that you use to clean the smelly mouth, he will tell you or she will tell you, that is what I want. And that is what we are neglecting. Nowadays, the children of God, we are taking the church as organization. It is an organization. That is all. But let me tell you something. The church is not just an organization. So we are we are we are we are we are we are, we are always concerned about the things that the church can do for me physically than what I can gain in my life. Yes, it is came to tell the children of Bethel Royals have a mindset. That I am in a strong tower. The Bible says, the word of God is a strong tower. The righteous run into that strong tower and they are saved. So, when you are in this house, know that you are under a grace. You are under a strong tower. And you are saved. That should be your first priority. As a child of God, your first priority should not be me be a child education, sky di mami and also. Your first priority should not be me a wedding ukra better mamba. Yes, we are supposed we're supposed to come, but that is not what, what your first priority should be. Your first priority should not be. The pastor has offended me and somebody stepped on my feet. Your first priority should be as you are sitting down right now. That is what your first priority should be. Your first priority should be I am under a grace. I am under power. And nothing can touch me. Do you know some of us, eh? Let me give you a, a, a testimony. Some of us, we know what we are under. We know what we are under. We are covering us. We know. You have to know that. So that uh, in tuntum tuntum jani fau demwa unfa phone faster. We are greater demonic attacks, but we still come out of it. So. Let me tell you something. Judah. Let me say this, then I, I, I come to an end. That's the man of God. Now, Judah. Give me the, the, the verse number two again. First Chronicles chapter five. Give me the verse number two again. And listen to this very, very well. Now, Judah. When, bring, bring the verse one. Let me, let me read from the verse one to the verse two. And listen to this. Overtaking is allowed. Biazo, you can still biazo. The verse two. Now listen to this. Listen, you see. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. He was indeed the firstborn. So Reuben was indeed. He was actually the first son of the man. He was indeed the firstborn. Let me tell you. Some of us, the position where we are occupying. Eh? The position where we are occupying, we actually took it by force. Not by physical means, by spiritual means. 
So that is why you see a man, he will ask his son, are you, are, you, are, you, are you the firstborn? The son will not know what to say. Because in the spiritual realm, somebody took that position. So, the Bible said he was indeed the firstborn, but because he defied his father's bed, he slept with his father's woman. Now, get this. His, 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 his birth right was given to the sons of Joseph. Then look. The sons, the, it was the first birth was given to the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel. So that the genealogy is not listed according to the birthright. So Reuben distorted the generation. By one act of Reuben, he distorted the generation. That is why there are some of us, we don't joke with our ministry. Look, anything can happen. We don't joke with our ministry. So, now, it's like, it's like Christians or the children of God. We are all children of God. When, 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 when church members commit mistake, they say it is the devil. They want second chance. But when pastors commit mistake, they, want to, they don't want to give them the chance. I will take it by force. I will not ask you to give me. That is me. So, Reuben distorted the whole generation. Now, his firstborn right was given to Joseph. Now, go to the verse 2 and let's look at what, something. Now, Judah was not given the firstborn right. Judah shouldn't have produced the king. No. Jesus Christ, in, in the archives of God, Jesus Christ shouldn't have come from the tribe of Judah. Jesus Christ should have come from the tribe of Reuben. When Reuben lost the firstborn right of producing the kingship and the Christ coming through, coming through this thing, Reuben, they gave it because the father loved Joseph. The father gave that right by, the, by spiritual means to Joseph. So, love is very, very important. You can actually possess grace and, and possess gifts from men of God by love. Not by God asking them, they can actually impart it into you by love. So love is very important. So work with a man of God. Do everything for that man of God to love you. It's not selfishness. Because love can change so many things. Now, so, Israel passed all his sons and gave the birthright to the last but one son, which was Joseph, to take that birthright. So, it was Joseph that now needs to produce the kingship. It was Joseph that now Jesus Christ have to come from the alliance. But they also had the birthright and they are joking with it. Like how Edom sell his birthright to Israel, to Jacob. They had the birthright spiritually and they are joking with it. And whilst they are joking with it, Judah was about the fifth born or the fourth born. Judah was preparing himself. Judah was preparing himself. Judah was preparing himself. Now, by the spirit of God upon Judah, it may not be your tithe, but I came to tell you tonight, it may not be your tithe, but you can draw it near it may not be your time to have it. It may not be your time to take it. But you can still draw it near. So, now, when they were joking with it, I have one favorite scripture in the Bible. I love it so much. I think John chapter 17 verse number 1. The Bible said, when the time came, as the time came, as the time drawn near, Jesus Christ lifted up his eyes unto the heaven and said, God, glorify your son so that your son can also glorify you. Do you know what it means? He was telling the father, Father, if you don't glorify me, I have no glory to give to you. That's why some of us, are, we don't worry ourselves. If you don't give me money, I have nothing to give it to you. To give it to you. So he said, Jesus said, Father, now is the time. 
glorify yourself. When you give your son glory, your son can reciprocate that glory. It may not be your time. Yes, in that family, marriages may be delayed. But I came to tell you, you can tell God, God, glorify your daughter. Because if you don't give your daughter that glory, it's unto you. I think three days today, I was praying and I was telling God, God, I tell God, God, if you allow shame to fall on me, it is your shame. It's not my shame. Because people will say, look at the pastor. A man, they will, they will add your name, a man of God. So me, it is not my shame, or it is your shame. And that shame will be on you, not me. So, now, Judah took it by Biazo. I came to tell somebody, be up on your feet. Be up on your feet. Be up on your feet. It was not Judah's time. God did not even give it to Judah. It was not God that took it from Joseph and gave it to Judah. But the Bible said Judah grew Judah grew and Judah produced the ruler. Judah overtook. Our team is doing, I will do a new team. I will do a new team. Make your team out of this team. I have made my team out of this team. So I've been telling myself, my my, 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 my team is speed grace for a new team. So I have made my own team out of this team. Because you cannot go away with the team. We are going to pray before the man of God comes. We will lift, we'll lift, we'll lift up one prayer point before the man of God comes. We are telling God that God this year let your glory be seen upon battle royals. We have been in the wilderness for long. Moses said something. He said, God, if you are not going with us, then we are staying here with you. God said to Moses, Moses, this is so stubborn. Allow me to do them and I will make nations out of you. Moses said, if you kill them, the people will say, you have just gathered them to bring them to the wilderness to kill them. Look, if God destroys battle royals and destroy you, then the people say, you have said this. He has just brought them to destroy them. It will be God's shame. So we are going to pray. We are going to talk Father, bring glory this year. Let the team, I will do a new thing, happen in our life. Say, Lord Jesus, as I lift up my voice and clap my hands and pray, do a new thing in my life. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lagada da 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 bro sata, makato zada da bro zada da ba, ilagada bro zakante de bro sata da da ba, iyagada ba lebra kato zada ba, iligiri de bro sata bra kato za. Leba daba, lebra daba. Take that right, take that right, take that right, take that right. Take that right, take that right. Clap your hands and pray. 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 Clap <laughs> 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 
Il a got another the fire prayer, 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 fire prayer. Prayer, a new thing in your life, a new thing in your relationship, a new thing in your marriage, a new thing, a new thing, a new thing. He a bada 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 bada. 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 He a bada 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 bada. He a bada 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 bada. He a bada 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 bada. over my family every blessing that is hanging over the house as i clap my hands and pray i snatch it by fire i snatch it by fire somebody clap your hands and pray snatch that blessing and to that snatch the blessing snatch that blessing and to that snatch the blessing snatch that blessing Holy 
We are going last one. When I say Holy Ghost, you say fire. We are just this one. There we end. When I say Holy Ghost, you say fire. When I say Holy Ghost, you say fire. When I say fire, you say burn, consume. We are going last one. Holy Ghost, fire. 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 Consume, fire. Burn, consume, fire. Ben consume fire Ben consume fire Ben consume fire Ben fire 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 with all due respect and with a clap, let 